Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to go over the Ames lettering guide for a second time. Um, I have another video on YouTube on how to use this lettering guide, um, but at that time I was using my phone and so it's a little distorted. Um, I have my Pivo visualizer today and so I'm hoping that you can have a better, clearer picture of what this lettering guide looks like. All right, we're going to get started by going from the left to the right. On the left hand side you have a row of holes and these holes are 1 8 inch lines and they're going to be equally spaced. All right, so that's a simple one. Uh, moving on, here you have another row. I'm going to show you, I'm going to move this, hold on, up to 10 here. All right, there we go. So here you have what we call the metric system mm millimeters right this is going to create when it is on when the um, when the disk number is on 10 are lined up with the index line here you're going to get one millimeter lines that's going to be for this section here when you move down and these are the shorter holes these are going to give you half millimeter lines Moving over to here, if you look real closely up here, it says 3 over 5. This is going to give you a 3 fifth ratio. Right? Very important to remember that is 3 over 5, 3 fifth ratio. That means that this here, this line here that connects these three holes, um, are going to give you 5 over 5. Okay. If you break that down and you draw these two lines, it's going to give you 2 fifths to three-fifths of a ratio. All right. um, here we have equal space lines, so this is your equal spaced ratio. There is no number indicating anything such as equal spaced. Moving over one more, you have two over three. These are going to give you two-thirds ratio. So again, here is a line connecting these three. This is going to give you one-third to two-thirds of a ratio. All right. What does these two mean? So basically these two means that when you draw these two lines, these three lines, I'm sorry, and you imagine that these, this an uppercase letter is going to go in between these three holes, yes? That means that your lowercase letter is going to occupy these two lines or these two lines. So because this is a three-fifths ratio and this is a two-thirds ratio, these lowercase letters are going to be larger than this lowercase, le um, the lowercase letter. All right. To break it down even more, basically it means that when you use the three-fifths ratio, lowercase letters are going to be three-fifths of the uppercase letters ratio, which is also, by the way, known as the Reinhardt system. The lowercase letters are going to be two-thirds of the uppercase letter. Okay. And I will show you what that's like in just a minute. Before I show you, I just want to go over this over here, which is the disk number. Disk num number goes from 2 all the way through 10, and each disk number is going to represent um, 30, 30 seconds of an inch. Oh, that's really small, right? 30 seconds of an inch. So, it's, um, for example, right now it's set 10 over 30 seconds of an inch. All right. If I were to move this over to 8, so then you have 8 over 32 as a fraction. You'll notice if you break that down, it'll be a quarter of an inch. Yes? So 8 over 32 equals 1 fourth. All right. You'll also notice that you have another index line here that is pointing to what looks like 1 over 8. And you're, you're right, it's 1 eighth of an inch. So this is going to give you a clue that even though you're looking at a quarter inch here, you need to make two sets of these lines in order to make the quarter inch, because technically you're making one eighth of an inch line. All right, so let's start off with that. I'm gonna use my equal spaced ratio to show you what that looks like. So let's start up here. Okay, I'm gonna take that away for a second. Bring over my other ruler. So, there you have it. You have here a quarter inch, right? Quarter of an inch. And within the quarter of an inch, you have made two lines. 
or one line to separate the two lines. You've done this twice. And by doing it twice, you have created two one-eighth of an inch line in order to make the quarter inch line. This will make sense in just a minute, I promise. All right. So let's go over to the three-fourths ratio line, which is this one right here. So I'm going to do this. One, two, three. All right. Bring the ruler back over. Again, I have run the ruler twice. In doing so, I have created uh, a quarter inch. Now it has changed ever so slightly. So it is slightly above the one eighth inch line. And this is three fourths, three fifths, sorry, because this means that this is three over five and this is 2 over 5. So this is going to be your uppercase letter, right? And this is your lowercase letter. This means that your lowercase letter is 3 fifths um, to the uppercase letter, right? And then let's go over to the 2 thirds ratio line, which is this one right here. All right. And bring in the ruler just to make sure. And again, it is exactly a quarter inch. Yes. Good. And because this is two thirds, the two thirds occurs right here and the one-third occurs right there. Does that make sense? All right, so then you have your uppercase letter here, and then you have your lowercase letter here. So in this case, the lowercase letter is going to be two-thirds of the uppercase letter. It's going to be larger. I know it's kind of hard to see on the camera, so you're just going to have to take my word for it and give it a try yourself. Um, and then I have to also show you another part of this Ames Ruler lettering guide. Are the slant lines. So you have this thing here, right? So if you turn it over, and you do that, you'll notice that you can make slant lines. Now the only problem with these slant lines as a calligrapher is that these slant lines are at, and if you look over here in the corner it says 68, and it is 68 degrees slant line. We don't use 68 degrees technically. Um, I know that comic strip um, writers use this for italic, so that's probably why they use this slant line. I found a trick though. So we use 52 in copper plate or in grocer script. So if you were to mark this line here, the bottom part of this, yes, and you were to mark this groove right there, take this away, and then bring your other ruler here. I can show you that that, if I line it just right, creates approximately 52. Actually, I made it a little steeper, sorry, or less steep. But in theory, it is at 52. So there you have it. How do you do that? From there, you just go ahead and I guess you can use a ruler to line up. Most rulers have a line going through the center. And you can just move it along this way, like so. Um, if you use the 21 line ruler that I have, you can set it so that the lines look like you can just continue on like this. All right. 
I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know either here under the comments um, or you can visit me over at Instagram, on Instagram or Facebook, and my handle there is Ginkgo Arts. That's G I N K G O A R T S. All right, take care.